at the Savannah College of Art and Design are all moved in for the quarter, but some of them are living dif differently than what they had planned. WTOC's Shay Schrader joins us live near the Savannah River. Shay, students were supposed to move into the building that's actually behind you right now, but that's not exactly what happened. Yes, Aria, as you can see, the building behind me, which is known as the River Dorm, is very much still under construction. Now, it looks like it's almost there. It looks like maybe some final touches going on on the outside or maybe even the inside of the building. But as you can see, there's construction fence up, there's cones, and then you can see workers uh, heading in for the morning to get to work. Now, this building was uh, starting to be built in 2021, and it was supposed to open for students to live here this fall. However, according to the Savannah College of Art and Design, they found out that due to construction delays beyond their control that they were going to have to postpone the opening of this dorm and because of that they had to find other living arrangements for the students that were supposed to live here. Located between the Chatham Area Transit Bus Depot and Yamakraw Village, you'll find two luxury high-rise apartments known as the Ann Street Lofts. And this fall, you'll also find many SCAD students occupying them. The living conditions like aren't terrible like it definitely seems like they rushed a little bit like not everything is like clean polished like you know there's some sawdust on the floor um there's like some holes in the wall like nothing that's like unlivable but something that you can kind of you can see that like there it was rushed perhaps the bigger issue sroka says is that her floor still doesn't have wi-fi making it difficult to access classes and homework on-site parking is also out of her budget, so she finds herself walking home in what she doesn't consider to be the safest area, so she avoids leaving at night. Unless I like absolutely have to, then I'll call my boyfriend or I'll call my sibling um, just to have someone there with me as I'm going through these areas. SCAD says that the Ann Street Lofts do have 24-7 security as their other dorms do. They also say that students have access to the same transportation, eating, and fitness facilities that other dorms do. Those students have to travel off-site to access those. Students are paying the same amount of money that they would have to live at the River Dorm. Sroka says she understands it's a tough situation all around, and all she would really like to see is more communication. I would appreciate just a bit more communication and like clarity about situations like this so that we're not all like scrambling. SCAD says all students who were scheduled to move into the new residence hall for the upcoming fall quarter were notified by August 16th. To see SCAD's full statement to WTOC, you can find that on our website, WTOC.com. We haven't been given a timeline for when River Dorm is expected to open. Live in Savannah, Shea Schrader, WTOC News.